Um, yeah, congratulations, Pat. Um, were, you, were you aware? I mean, I imagine you were aware that you're on a hat trick, but yeah, you didn't. I've seen hat tricks celebrated a bit more. Uh, you give me too much credit because no, I didn't know I was on a hat trick. I did the previous over. I saw it come up on the screen, and then by the time my next over came around, I totally forgot about it. So I think Stoinis ran in from the deep, was cheering, and I was like, oh yeah, forgot about it. So yeah, nice one. What What's your hat trick record otherwise in cricket? Um, I think I got one in grey cricket, maybe fourth grade, um, and I think I got one in second eleven uh, when I was seventeen, and I think. The hat trick ball was similar. It was the first ball of the last day when it was Joe Burns, and I went to bowl a slower ball, and he ducked underneath it, and he hit the bail on the full. <laughs> so yeah, not too 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 dissimilar to today's. Um. So Pat, that's it. Kind of feels like a almost ticking the boxes as you go along now. Now it's the you know, first win um, of the Super 8s. Just, just how, can you describe as someone who captains another side as well, how's the momentum building do you feel within the camp? Uh, you know, really well, really. We've kind of ticked off everything we, have, we could possibly do so far. Um, you know, I thought tonight overall was a fairly polished performance which is kind of what you want in Super 8s, you know, obviously two points, but also to get a good good um, uh, run rate. Um, and it feels like over the course of the tournament so far, just, just about everyone's had a game, or, you know, we've used 12 or 13 players so far, and, um, you know, everyone's had a couple of performances where they should take confidence out of. So, yeah, feel well positioned. Obviously, it doesn't mean that much, but it feels like we're in as good a place as we could be. Is it is it then just the little things, Pat? I mean, the, there were a couple of bounces from you on this pitch, which kind of provided. Um, so when you know you're faced with a different kind of pitch, just getting those things right and um, getting your bounces like absolutely perfect. Are those the kind of things you work on, like as you get deeper into the tournament? Oh, I think as a bowler, yeah, you're always getting lots of information. I mean, obviously across different islands. So each game has its own kind of little quirks. The pitches are slightly different, but uh, you know, I think you learn a general kind of methodology that um, kind of you fine tune with each game. So yeah, your sequencing, your execution of certain balls. You hope you get better and better, and by the end of the tournament, you've kind of got your game plan where you can give yourself as good a chance as you can. And Pat, another half century for David Warner tonight. Does it feel like he's got a bit of extra motivation to finish his international career on a high? It seems like he's really hitting them well at the minute. Uh, it feels like every ICC event, he's, he's always up there in the runs tally. Um, you know, I love the way he's been taking the game on, some big sixes even over the deep fielders. Um, so he's always got a you know, huge appetite for runs, particularly in these tournaments. And yeah, whether it's knowing it's his last hurrah or whatever, he looks in great form and continue to play with that freedom, which is great. And Mitch Stark, he's just taken the record for the most wickets in Men's World Cups combined tonight. Um, why does he stand up in the big tournaments, do you think? What makes him so special? Uh, you know, I think, first of all, probably just longevity. It's not hard, not easy to play for a dozen years or so like he has, which, you know, he, he's been fit for all those tournaments, so that's that's impressive um, and then obviously just being a strike weapon um, he can tear teams apart um, in white ball tournaments he's got a lot of kind of stood up when we needed to in big moments so um, I don't know I guess he's just a class bowler who takes lots of wickets and has played for a while um, Pat the way the three of you bowled tonight um, it would be hard to leave one of you out for the next game and obviously over the last couple of World Cups you have shown that you can bowl on any surface but um, from what you've seen on TV, what you face in St Vincent, you know, is it a prospect that you're prepared for that perhaps it could be two spinners? Yeah, potentially. Um, you know, we've been pretty open with that. That you know, anyone in the squad's ready to play, and we might the bowling lineup might change at different times. The batting lineup, or you know, the batting order might change and things like that. So, just got to be adaptable. Obviously, Ash played last game; he, he, he bowled really well. Um, so we feel like we got all bases covered. So. Um, yeah, we'll rock up there, and I mean, the best thing of all this is I'm not captain or selector or anything, so I just 
turn up and have no worries. <laughs> cool. Thank you. What was that? Oh, thank you. <laughs>